What's up you guys, this is Christian. Welcome back to the vlog. Today we're checking out Vintage Land in Echo Park. The original flea market was on John Marshall High School called Los Feliz. This is the new one at Echo Park. So looking for some vintage 80s tees, some jeans, cowboy boots. Let's see what we get. Oh, cool, cool denim, like, yeah. Brown ones. Cool Thick. Metallica. the tea. Western. I just want the fit to look good. Usually they'll have like a ticket, or not a ticket, but like, let's see. Usually they'll say the date on here. Gotcha. These, these ones are a little bit trickier. Like, yeah, this one was like September 2001. Gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. So, usually like that, but like, if you feel this versus this, yeah. yeah. It's just like a thicker, like, but usually it'll stay right here. Like a crocodile print. I like the Harley shirt, but you want to wait too much. 70, right? Yeah, I'm like, whoa. The most I ever spent is like 40 or 50. Maybe. We're gonna check out. There's some more right downstairs. left Vintage Land, now we're gonna go check out this new flea market in Pasadena. I guess it's here only twice a month, but gonna check it out and get some pizza. Let's go. It's a cool one too. Oh, <laughs> uh, the naughty pie. Uh, spicy vodka, pepperoni, ricotta, and Good. Pretty good, spicy, has some flavor, but I I'd, I'd recommend it. It's like spicy at first because of the sauce, but then it has honey, so I feel like it kind of like downs yeah, it's kind of sweet. You definitely get that sweet at the end of it. It's pretty good though. All right guys, just left the Pasadena flea market. It was a bit small for me. I would say if you're trying to source clothes, I would recommend Vintage Land or Silver Lake Flea better. I ended up picking up some Levi's from the 80s, so really excited to try those on. All right guys, so I finally found a pair of Vintage Levi's from Vintage Land. I ran into a good vendor, a really cool guy named Miguel. He has some great jeans from the 70s and 80s. Not sure really what to look for. I'm kind of getting into the vintage game. Uh, the reason why I've been looking for vintage Levi's is because the pockets do sit higher. I found a really good video on TikTok. The guy was explaining that all the jeans from the 80s and 90s were pretty much made in the USA. All the pockets sit higher. The newer ones kind of sit lower. You know, I'm average size 5'9", but they make your legs look shorter. I don't know if you guys feel the same way. So trying to find a pair of good vintage ones for months now. I was talking to the guy at the flea and he was kind of explaining to me that you can tell by the tag inside of the jeans. Yeah, so I guess in the 80s, Levi's had this red Batwing logo and then it's gonna stay the style there, which is 501. And then there's a series of codes inside of the tag. I didn't know this. So right there, that first one, 501, that's gonna be the style of the jean. And then the second number, 078, that's gonna be the date of manufacture. So 07 is the month, which is July. And then eight is gonna be the last digit of the year it was made. So since these are from the 80s, it's gonna be 88. Super stoked that I found these, uh, really comfortable. And then also with sizing, sizing's crazy out here. You know, I've been going through eBay, and I'm a size 3230, but let's say something on eBay that's like 36, 32, that might fit me well just because of all the shrinkage that went on throughout the 80s. So since I'm 3230, I wasn't sure what my size was, but he hooked me up with these. These are 34, 36, so way bigger than what I would normally wear. 
but when I try these on, they're a perfect fit. As you guys can see here, they are longer in length, so I am gonna get them hemmed, but other than that, it's gonna be a perfect fit. I would say if you are looking for a good fitting pair of jeans, try to find the 501s from the 80s. A little harder to find. If you can try them on, that'd be great, but definitely check the tag inside of the jeans. But yeah, if you guys have any tips or tricks on vintage jeans, what to look for, please let me know in the comments, and I'll see you guys next video.